you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina, and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be a spring makeup haul and also accessory haul for you guys. So let's get started. Also, I did want to mention you guys, we hit 5,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, just watching my videos and interacting with me. You guys know I love interacting with you guys and just talking beauty. <laughs> with that being said, I am planning a 5,000 subscriber giveaway, just kind of a way to say thank you to you guys. I do have a couple things already. I'm just waiting on one more order to come in. It should be here within the next couple of days. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on the giveaway. I should have it posted within like the next week for you guys. I have also been using some of these products a little bit so I can give you a tiny tiny mini review. If you guys want to see a full review or tutorial on any of these products, just let me know. This is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and I picked this up at Walmart. I wish I picked this up sooner, because as you guys know, I just did my top five foundations for oily skin video. Been using this for about three days now. Really, really like I'm it. I'm going to use it for another week or so before I do a full tutorial and review on it, but you guys can expect that. I have it on my face right now. It's beautiful, medium to full coverage, dries to like a powder finish, and it's pretty matte as well. I like it. Next, sticking with face products, this is just a repurchase. This is one of my holy grail concealers. This is the Maybelline Insta Age of Rank Concealer. I also really like this one. This is the Dark Spot Corrector. This is the Dark Circle Eraser. Love both of these, and I like to have them both on hand. The only difference, pretty much, is the Maybelline Instant Age Ryan Dark Spot Corrector is a little bit more on the yellow side, and then this one's more on, like, the fair light side. Things from Rimmel, and this was actually thanks to you guys for uh, recommending this to me. I kept asking you guys what eyeliner I should be using on my waterline. I have been using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Liner, and it just doesn't have very long-lasting power. I have very sensitive eyes, though, so I was asking for recommendations from you guys, and you guys told me to try the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner. I had tried this one, so this is a repurchase because when I moved, it didn't make it here, <laughs> and it's just a nude eyeliner. Very beautiful for that waterline on the lower lash line to really brighten and open up the eyes. Love that. So you guys told me to get the black version of that because it's very creamy, and and it'd be good on my waterline. So apparently I can't read because I picked up the sparkling black <laughs> instead of regular black. I think I just read black and I picked it up because I also saw like a navy one there and I knew I didn't want that. So glitter's probably not gonna be the best in my waterline. I did try it today anyways because I'm stubborn. And so far my eyes are fine. It doesn't have the longest lasting power. I think this one mainly focused on the glitters, but I'm gonna go back and try and find the solid black one. This line of nail polish is my favorite, this L'Oreal line. And they're just, they dry so quickly, and that's what I love. I like painting my nails, but I hate waiting for them to dry. So this is in Dotson Nude, number 600. It's what I have on my fingers today. It's a very beautiful kind of light tea rose color. I've had this on for three days, and it's just now starting to chip a little bit. You guys bit, can expect to see this for like the next month. I'm so obsessed with it. Next here is the Maybelline Blush Nudes Palette. Honestly, the packaging caught my eye on this. And so then I picked it up. I started using it. I love the shades in here. Some of the shadows are hit and miss. You can still work with them. Um, gosh, these shades are so beautiful. It is the only shadows that I have on my eyes today. Definitely think I'm going to do a tutorial, like a, maybe a prom makeup tutorial, because these are such beautiful romantic shades. I may have also picked one up for you guys to put in that giveaway that I was talking about. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette, and you guys can also expect a review on this coming soon. Speaking of palettes, this is a Hard Candy Natural Eyes palette. This is also brand new, and Hard Candy, if you don't know, you can buy it at Walmart. I think it's exclusively sold at Walmart, but this packaging caught my eye, and I looked in it. They had a couple different uh, shade selections. This is a Natural Eyes. I kept looking at it, kept putting it back, looking at it, putting it back, and I was shopping with my boyfriend at the time. And it was funny because I, I ended up putting it back. I was like, I don't need another Naturals palette. I'm fine. And then we get to the car and he goes, did you not notice? I was like, what? He goes, I snuck it into the car. Oh, sneaky, and was, sneaky boy. So then I got home, started playing with it. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad he snuck it into the cart, you guys. It is $8. It comes with a mirror right here. It comes with a little sheet on different tips on how to apply it. It comes with nine eyeshadows. comes with their best-selling hard candy primer, an eyeliner, and then a little sponge brush. You guys, this palette is 
awesome. The matte shades are so creamy and velvety smooth. And then it has some satin shades and some glitter shades. You can definitely expect a review tutorial on this coming soon. So sticking with Hard Candy, I did take it out of the packaging. This was also brand new. Anything with that new sticker on it gets me every time, I swear. So this is a Hard Candy Sheer Eye Brightening Concealer. I have tried the Hard Candy Glam Flash Concealer, which is extremely thick and full coverage. And you just have to be careful when you're working with it. So this is the Sheer Envy Eye Brightening Concealer. Now, what's kind of funny about this is it has so many claims on it. It is supposed to reduce puffiness, diffuse shadows, soften wrinkles, even skin tone, eliminate dark circles, blur lines, brighten conceals, corrects, and lifts. Honestly, to me, that sounds like somebody Googled what our concealers are supposed to do and then just popped it all on this. So we'll see. It has like a 10 in 1 beauty kind of thing. We'll see. I used it once, and it definitely is sheer. It's definitely creamy and moisturizing, but I want to use it for another week or two to see about all the other benefits that it claims. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about this, but I'm just so obsessed with it. I promise I'll be done talking about it soon. I've been using it in a couple tutorials, and it made it in my monthly favorites, and I just got it maybe a couple weeks ago, and I hadn't really like explained to explain it to you guys so I wanted to do that this is a Lorac summer glow palette upside down <laughs> I got this off Hot look you guys for ten dollars and I just feel like it's such a steal Lorac is on Hot look a lot too if you guys want to keep checking Hot look out uh, they they come up a lot ten dollars for these beautiful beautiful shadows they are so creamy pigmented and smooth the one that isn't is this purple shade but the rest are just stunning and I'll link the tutorials that I've done down below if you guys want to check those out as well. Okay, last two beauty products. Kind of a miss for me. This is a Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss. Um, this is in the shade Spring Fling. As you guys know, Gerard Cosmetics has so much hype here on YouTube. And I wanted to pick one up for myself. I got it when it was the 2 for 20 deal. And with free shipping as well. It's very pigmented, but you guys, it goes on very blotchy on my lips. And it's not the same color that it looked like it was online. Let me know if this is just a dud. Let me know if you guys have any of these lip glosses and if they're creamier and smooth and like buttery feeling. But honestly, I would much rather prefer my NYX butter glosses over this. And I do like layering this. You'll probably see it. You'll probably see me using this to like layer over other lipsticks because it is a beautiful color. Just on its own, too much and too like blotchy. Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick and Buttercup. This now is a beautiful, beautiful shade. This is the one that Jaclyn Hill created. And it's just a really beautiful pinky nude. Very creamy. Really like it. Alright guys, so that concludes the makeup portion. I did quickly want to share with you some of the accessories that I've been picking up because they are so affordable and they're just too good not to share with you guys. So let's jump into that. Things first are some sandals. Now, all these accessories that I picked up are from Walmart. And like I mentioned, I do all my beauty shopping there and sometimes when I do my beauty shopping there, I browse around the accessories and the shoe section because they're so affordable. And lately, Walmart has been picking up some amazing, amazing like statement pieces, earrings, necklaces, all that good stuff for a really good price. So I found some hidden gems and I wanna share with you guys. So these are some sandals. I've worn them twice now and these were $9, and I just love this material, and they're so casual, but very springy as well, and I just really like them. The other pair of sandals that I, sandals? <laughs> the other, I always do that with my S's. The other pair of sandals that I picked up are these ones, just a very typical standard, but these are also only $9. I think at Target, this kind of style is like $12 to $15, um, at least my Target it is, so you can't beat this for nine bucks and they're just perfect for any occasion. Next are some necklaces. First is this necklace right here. You guys probably saw this in my get ready with me that I did a couple, like two videos back. It is such a stunning necklace. This was $5, you guys. These all have a really good weight to them as well. And they're just pretty strong quality. They're even better than Forever 21 in my opinion and way more affordable. So this is a beautiful pink and like gray rhinestone, kind of gunmetal. I love this. It's one of my favorite pieces. This is the next piece right here. I'm going to try all these on for you guys too. This is a beautiful big statement piece. It is coral and white um, stones, gems on there. And it is stunning you guys. I love it with anything. It just jazzes up anything. You guys know me and my style. I like to keep it very simple, um, very solid colors, very casual. And then I love jazzing it up with some statement pieces, earrings, rings, jewelry. I just love that look for some reason. Also, Walmart always is having sales. So this was originally 10 bucks, and I got it for $5. I also picked up the same one in this beautiful mint green color. Again, it was on sale for $5. This one I really like as well. This was on, on sale for $1, you guys. $1. And it's so beautiful, and it's 
strong material too. It's not gonna break, it's not gonna come off. It's just a beautiful piece and it can go with anything too. It's also a dollar. Again, you just can't go wrong with something that's only $1 and it's a beautiful little statement piece that can go with everything. This one was $3. I haven't worn this one yet. It's more of like a casual one that I would wear maybe on like a lunch during the spring, summertime with a maxi dress and some sandals or something like that, but it's really beautiful. I love that purple shade and of course gold hardware as well. The last one was $5. This one is not an extreme statement piece, but it is so beautiful. You guys can tell I really like that, like the coral shades and mint green. I just love those. It looks so good with a tan. And this is perfect for anything. I could have worn it with today's outfit as well. And yeah, I just really wanted to share that with you guys because check out your local Walmart. I think these statement pieces are kind of new within the last couple of months because I know Walmart didn't used to carry statement pieces like that. Alright guys, so. so that completes my spring makeup and accessory haul. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, don't forget to be subscribed to my channel. I'll leave a little button you can click right here to subscribe to make sure that you stay tuned for the upcoming giveaway that I'm going to be doing with the next couple of videos. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're excited for spring and summer and warmer weather. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye! If you want to check out my last video, go ahead and just click the video playing. Also, you can connect with me on my social medias up at the top right, Instagram and Twitter. As always, make sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!